cares, bro? What? This is crazy. It's giving Tina Turner. Hi, guys. Wait, let me do my lip. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yetinder for those who don't know. So today, as much as I've loved having my hair like this, it was giving growth, it was giving natural, it was giving, you know, claw clip whenever and wherever I wanted. It is time to take it down because we're on to the next hairstyle. I'll probably do this again though because I really did love it. Um, so I figured I'd show you guys how I actually am planning to take this down. It's really simple, really easy to do. So all you need is one thing. I'm trying to be more organized, I swear. I'm always looking for something. Oh my god. And I also tried, you guys have to know, mochi donut for the first time. And I have to say I'm obsessed with the um, sugar one. I tried the churro, churro one. It was too sweet for me but the regular one it was giving freshly baked it was giving not too sweet it was just amazing so i just had to like mention that all right so all you need for this is the plier because that's what i use to close it and i'm going to just get in here and show you guys up close and personal we're gonna start in the front so i hope you guys can see clearly this is how far forward I put them and it still blended in so well. I haven't put any like heat or anything in it, any heat in it in like a week, which I needed because I was just doing a lot. I was getting excited having this hair in. I was just straightening it every day. So we're just going to grab the first piece. Look at all the new growth in there. So this is how much hair. I had, it definitely grew a lot, but this is where the pin is, or the little clip. So this is the flat surface, so all I'm going to do is press it the opposite way. So it opens up, because that's essentially what we're trying to do. Ooh. Doing this on camera is a little too difficult. and this is how it looks the this is the hair that came on the loops or on the micro link it just pulled through for some reason so i'm hoping i can pull them back through so i can reuse it but my actual hair is fine it's not on there it didn't come out i didn't feel anything pull out of my head but it looks pretty pretty good we're going to try another one just be careful take your time don't be too hasty because the last thing you want is to not have hair <laughs> oh that one was so much easier because i brushed it out first <laughs> It was so much easier. Yeah, definitely brush it out first before you like undo it. And I'm definitely going to reuse these. This is how it looks like. I'm going to um obviously like pull these back through the loop so that way I can reuse them. So you guys can just kind of see me do a few more and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so my neck had to come off because it was hot. I am all done. My hair is looking a little scanty because I have been straightening it a lot, but I don't really care anymore. But it's pretty good. I barely had any more than usual like hair shedding, which is great. It does need a good wash. 
but I'm so sad it's gone because I loved having it on. My ponytail is not the same anymore. <laughs> I loved doing my little claw clip with it. Now it's just like, eh. But no, it, it held up really, really well. And I took my time taking it out because I wanted to make sure I could reuse it. So here is what it looks like. This is all that was in my head. It's literally like one bundle. Next time I think I'm going to put a little bit more in the back because it was kind of flat in the back. But no, this is the hair. I'm going to wash it so that I can reuse it after I do my next hairstyle. My hair is still intact. I didn't lose any hair. I don't think I lost any more hair than I would if I had braids on. So I think that's pretty good. And then next time I'll probably get like more of a kinky straight texture. So that way I could just leave it in a blowout. Then I don't have to straighten it as much because this one was kinky curly and I wasn't really in the big curly afro vibe so I ended up blowing it out and straightening it. So next time I'll definitely do the kinky straight but I loved this texture. It matched my hair so well once I straightened everything out. I'm going to show you guys what it looked like before I straightened it. This is the natural texture of the hair. It's like nice pretty curls. And this is what it looked like with a couple days of like being straightened out. The shrinkage is crazy though. I'll probably just like use this bundle as the one I'll use for straight hair and then I'll keep the other one as the one I'll use for when I want it curly. But that is it for this video. I hope you found this helpful. I know a lot of people were like curious on how to take it out and you know what effect that has on your hair that i was looking for those that is it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you found this helpful let me know if you have any additional questions in the bottom i did have my hair in for like two going on three weeks which is not bad i would have probably kept it in longer if i didn't have to do my next stuff but um no this is definitely a good hairstyle to have i'll probably i'll definitely be doing it again but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye it's giving Tina Turner.